it's day six and I transferred all the seeds onto the soil that I sterilized in the oven by baking and I sprayed some distilled water on the soil to provide water for the seeds to continue germinating uh, for those especially that haven't um, started sprouting a, a root system yet like this one this was the second seed to germinate and if we move over here to the center um, this is where I placed uh, the first seed to germinate um, the mutant which is actually I believe two seeds fused together so I didn't quite poke those roots down into the soil yet but they're clearly leaning downwards uh, displaying gravitropism so let me get a better angle um, so yeah I'm sure they'll find their way into the soil and burrow in shortly and the seed husk will burst open and you know the cotyledons will come out the first pairs of leaves I believe this is two plants in what is essentially two seeds fused together so as far as the rest of those seeds go um, I haven't seen that much progress altogether um, I have heard that these seeds take about three to ten days to germinate so it's only day six and uh, a lot could happen. I've seen, uh, as I talked about in the previous video, that covers day what days one through five. Uh, a lot of these seeds have already started making little holes in the pointy tips, so uh, I'm expecting root systems to come out soon. It's day seven and the seed, uh, the mutant, has, you know, what looks like cotyledons. Uh, getting ready to sprout out of, sh out of the shell of the seed and the roots are still trying to find their way into the soil um, that's because I didn't plant these in soil for the first five days so um, but you can see already there's some chlorophyll action uh, production going on and thus the green color so I think this is doing very well I'm fully expecting two plants to come out of this and given enough days those roots will burrow into the soil and find their way down and the cotyledons will sprout upwards and um, start photosynthesizing and providing sugar and growth for this plant and here's the second seed that germinated um, this is just a regular seed and um, for this one when I planted it well not really planted it I placed it on top of the soil I pointed the root downwards um, but not quite penetrating into the soil but I think it's found its way it's burrowing into the soil and um, there's a lot of green as you can see so I think this is a healthy plant waiting to grow and burst out of the seed so as you can see not many of the other seeds uh, are showing any greenery or uh, even root systems as of yet uh, most of them have that little hole in the sharp tip of the seed so I assume they're still trying to germinate um, the only factoid I know is that they should be germinating within at least 10 days by the latest um, although I'm not sure putting the seeds on the soil like this and spraying some water uh, let me demonstrate You know, I do this pretty much twice a day um, to simulate rainfall to keep the seeds wet and hope the moisture is enough to stimulate germination in all 50 of these seeds. So we'll just see what happens going forward. Okay, it's day 8 and we'll start again with the main character, um, this mutant seed that seems to be two seeds fused together. Um, so far what's happening is I see a lot of green and for the root system that came out first it found its way into the soil so it should be good to go uh, but the problem is in the process of doing so it's raised the entire structure above the ground by a few millimeters so the second root system that came out of this uh, double mutant seed you know it's having trouble reaching the soil and I assume it should keep on growing but it seems to have uh, changed a little bit of color uh, it's not pale and white at the tip 
as much as it was before so you know I'm actually kind of worried the tip seems a little bit yellow maybe it's dying uh, I'll make sure to spray more water on it um, so yeah I don't know if that second root that came out is going to make it but it, as you can see from the side view um, you know it looks like there are cotyledons ready to develop um, I'm not quite sure what this you know, protrusion this growth on the side um, right where it starts to become green is um, whether that's you know a leaf or a lateral root as you can see there are some small white lateral roots um, protruding from the root section of this plant and the development has come along a lot further than the plant it's in co-inhabiting this seed seed pod with and this is the second seed that germinated um, I don't know if you can see from here you know you can barely see the cotyledons waiting to unfold and burst out of the seed and split it in half um, these honeydew plants have these little hairs on the side of the main stalk the, the shoot system so not sure what that's all about maybe this is one of those plants that has those fuzzy little hairs all over it you know uh, to prevent insect predation um, although if I were an insect I'm not sure that would do that all that much to deter me you know it's not spikes or anything like that and you know the root development seems to be good um, this was a seed where I pointed the root down into the soil so it found its way in pretty quickly and you know I think this is a, a very nice plant waiting to develop you know, and as far as the rest of the seeds are concerned, uh, you know, 2 out of 48 germinating by day 8, that seems really low. Um, perhaps these seeds need to be soaked in water from day 1, and that would have really accelerated the process. Or, you know, perhaps, um, you know, they're just sterile or whatever. But, you know, I did, as I noted earlier, uh, see those little holes on you know one side of the sharp sharp tips of the seeds so in almost every case after a few days so I'm still expecting a, a root system to come out of those little holes as they enlarge and for plants to grow um, one thing I could do is to just take the sharp tip of each seed that hasn't germinated and just like push it down into the soil so it can absorb maximum amount of moisture and just get started but you know, I'm just kind of interested to see if these seeds can kind of make it on their own in this, uh, you know, artificial selection process that I've uh, pushed upon all 50 of these seeds. So um, we'll see how things go on days 9 and 10. All right, it's day 9. And as you can see, uh, main character number 1 has uh, the appearance of a caterpillar because of all those lateral roots still looking for anchoring in the ground and the soil and the stem is very green um, so you can see the seed pod has been I mean alright it's day nine and as you can see the main character has the appearance of a caterpillar at this point um, you know that protrusion at the very bottom that I pointed out to earlier um, that's green you know I think that's a lateral root I don't think that's gonna become a stem or a leaf at any time soon but you know it has this uh, the root has this interesting appearance as all the lateral roots are still uh, relying on gravitropism to find their way down and anchor into the soil um, because you know the development of this seed has been a little atypical I let them soak in water for a few days and on uh, wet tissues and uh, in that process this one sprouted early so it really should have um, been going straight down and we shouldn't be seeing any of these roots but because I allowed it to grow out so much before uh, providing this plant with soil um, that's what happened so as you can see there's a tiny uh, dangling of you know that that little thing under there uh, that little thing dangling there that's the dying root of what I thought was going to be a second plant um, you know I'm not quite sure what went on there I sprayed a lot of water on it and I thought that would have been enough to keep it alive and keep extending and looking for soil down there but 
there's also a good chance that the seed um, you know these two seeds that were fused together just became overcrowded by this first plant to shoot out its root system um, so maybe the cotyledons of this first plant are swelling up inside and basically choking off development for the second plant so it looks to be dying and doesn't look like there's any way I can stop that so you know let me try to get a different angle um, as you can see here uh, those uh, hairs on the stem are give it the fuzzy appearance and you can see the cotyledons um, the first pair of leaves developing a wing to burst out and you can't really even see the second plant anymore but I'm sure as uh, soon as the seed split apart uh, we'll be able to do an autopsy and see what happened okay this is uh, character number two the second one to germinate and this has pretty much displayed textbook germination and development. Um, here's another angle, the side of the seed, uh, of one side that has all this dirt on it. And as you can see, the stem is nice and straight. Uh, towards the bottom, you see a protrusion just like you do for the main character, but um, you know, like I said, I don't think that's going to develop into a leaf or anything. It's probably just. A lateral root although I'll be interested to see how that plays out so this one developed by far you know a lot faster than the first seedling did and uh, probably because it's not competing inside the seed uh, for resources So yeah, it looks uh, has all the uh, lookings of a very healthy plant in development, and I think this seed is basically full of uh, the two cotyledons waiting to burst out. As for the rest of these seeds, uh, there are 48 other seeds that don't really seem to be doing anything, although some of them have their uh, um, you know corners, so to speak kind of embedded in the soil, the wet soil, non-stop, so I would have expected those to start germinating by now. I don't know what's going on. Um, if nothing happens by day 10, which is tomorrow, I'm gonna, um, you know, put on my gloves and just try to stab those seeds downwards with the pointy tips down into the soil to try to get more uh, water exposure absorption for these seeds and see if anything germinate germinates so you know two out of fifty seeds germinating is pretty terrible and um, but I don't know what the usual germination rate is for honeydew it could be that this is just some you know genetically engineered strain or you know something that just produces a lot of infertile seeds so we'll see what happens tomorrow um, but you know the way things are going I'm expecting nothing to have happened and I'll do you know plant them deeper into the soil and water a lot more from now on now that especially these two seedlings are developing nicely and have roots that are going deeper and deeper into the soil all right, it's day 10, and as you can see, uh, there's been a lot of growth in the first two characters. Um, they've gotten a lot taller, and also they've exhibited a lot of phototropism, um, especially the one on the left. Uh, you know, yesterday was just a straight stalk, and today, you know, it's curved towards the light significantly. And the way this works uh, also you know with the main character here with the double seed husk is basically the cells the plant cells on the side away from the sun grow faster and that causes these stalks to kind of bend over um, so there's a lot of regulation in how that's done and 
that ensures that the plant doesn't just fall flat on onto the soil. But yeah, that was a very quick response within one day. Um, let's see, uh, other things happened as well. Uh, two other seeds started germinating. So if you look here, there's a, another one that started growing. I'll zoom in later. And here's another one, a fourth one. So in this subject, what I'll call uh, subject three, or character three, you know, it's basically uh, right next to the, the main character. And um, it's pushing another seed up. And from the looks of it, it looks like the cotyledons are green um, and well developed inside the seed, ready to pop out. And I'll be calling this one the fourth character. And it's developing very, very quickly, much the same way as the third one. And I expect it to be uh, somewhat erect tomorrow or much more developed. And this one is right next to character number two. And this one actually has the longest stalk so far. And two lush green cotyledons waiting to come out of this seed. Sometimes it takes a long time for this uh, seed husk to fall off and it can be frustrating because you can't wait to see the leaves inside. So as for seed number one, um, as you can see underneath, attached to the seed pod coming out of it is the dead remnant of what I thought was a root system for a second plant inside and I'm still waiting for the seed to fall off so I can examine um, that little now dead root as I'm calling it to see what actually happened and whether there's actually another plant inside but I think that's pretty much hopeless at this point it's dried out it dried out very quickly within the last two days and it just appears to be dying uh, this is an example of a seed that you know seemingly soaked up a lot of water it looks kind of soggy actually and I don't know if it's going to die or mold or what, but uh, it probably shouldn't mold because I sterilized this entire system and washed the seeds very well. But regardless, um, I'm not sure if this is about to germinate anytime soon. I mean, you can see, you know, a little hole on the one side of the pointy tip and the round tip, the round end is all soggy. So I don't know what's going to happen to this. I'm just going to keep watering.